Hello, everyone. Welcome into the studios today. You know Shanita Hunt. Welcome to you, Shanita. Thank you, Ron. Thank, Thank you for having me again. It's a pleasure to have you. It's been a minute. It's been a minute. You're right. Yeah. It's been yeah. Since 2015. You hadn't changed a bit. Really? Oh, yeah. you're so kind. <laughs> <laughs> and and uh, uh, you, you brought someone with you today. Tell me about it. Oh, Mr. Chris Johnson. Mm -hmm. He is the man who's over this entire mm -hmm. event. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Discussing. I'm not sure if Chris brought you or you brought me. Chris brought me. <laughs> I, you know what? I was blessed me. that she even decided to be a part of the project. So yeah. it's all around her I, I and, know Chris. and Mr. Early Clover. Yeah, Chris uh, Early and Anita came in and, and I was talking to them and I said, when, when you call me, the, the energy that you have, Chris, and the, the passion that you have mm -hmm. for life and the good things that you've done, over time, you have to say yes to you, Chris. You have to say yes. And so we're hoping people all over the community are going to say yes to, That's right. to this call. Well, hopefully we, we try to you know bring things to the community that are win-win. So, yes. yeah. yeah, and it is, Chris. Now, let, let's talk about where the idea came from and then you reaching out to the others involved. Um, it, it started out with a lesson with um, the kids that I mentor, and it was the, the, the lesson of the day was passing on the torch. And so as an example, um, I reference, you know, uh, Hub Dudley and his legacy. We started talking about it. Uh, I um, uh, reconnected with an old friend, Anita Hill, at the Martin Luther King um, breakfast. Saw Miss Shanita Hunt perform, and from there, the, the, you know, the light went off. You know, <laughs> let's do something, right? Uh, in the legacy of, uh, you know, Herbert Hub Dudley, and his legacy here in Dublin um, to do a concert, yeah. you know, for the restoration of that facility. Yeah. When did you first hear about Mr. Dudley? What's your recollection on that, Chris? Um, it was a few years back, um, back in 2017. Um, the kids and I, you know, it was, with me is always a teaching moment. Sure. Uh, we did a 57 bike, 57 mile bike ride. We visited all of the historical markers in Lawrence County. And the kids had to give a brief, you know, presentation of what that market was about. Yes. So we visited them all. And it came to our attention that there were no African-American, you know, historical markers. Uh -huh. So we reached out to our city officials. They says, why, why not? And the Hub Dudley was the, you know, facility was, was one that we thought would be good for this area to, you know, to, for recognition. Yeah. And I got to tell you, you surprised me. <laughs> by saying that there's, there are no markers for, for well, black leaders the, in our community. Well, uh, historical markers. On the, highway, on the highway, they have the Tuskegee Airmen you yeah. know, marked on the highway, mm -hmm. but that's not a historical marker. Mm -hmm. But we visited there because it was kind of cool sure. to uh, recognize those um, locals that went on and became part of that great yes. you know, Air Force, the Tuskegee yes. Airmen, that were locals from Dublin. That was really nice to know. Yeah. Wow. I'm still trying to get over that. I'm telling you. It's it, 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 it is. This is uh, more than astonishing. I can't even think of the word. But, but you need to know, you growing up, you, you heard a lot of stories about Mr. Dudley, didn't you? I did. Hub D Dudley and the entire family are relatives of mine, distant mm -hmm. relatives. And um, so I've always known about them. They've always been, always, they've always been called cousin, cousin, cousin. But I didn't know the history. I knew those buildings existed. I can recall as a little girl going into the cafe. Mm. Of course, those who are, are uh, visiting um, uh, the funeral home for wakes and different things, I knew about that. Mm -hmm. But I did not know him in his operating um, you know, position because I believe he passed in 1965. So I, I, I wasn't privileged to know yeah, him. A bit below, before Absolutely, time, before you know, my time. But, but what a history. But the, the name was always permeating around Hub Dudley, Hub Dudley, Hub Dudley. He was the man. Yeah. They said he was the man. Yeah. I uh, remember also watching the movie The Green Book mm. and bought The Green Book and started flipping through trying to find out who was involved in my hometown. Yeah. And there he was. Mm. His whole, you know, complex was a part of uh, yeah. that entire marking to show people you could stop here and be safe, you know, get gas, get food, sleep mm -hmm. at night, mm -hmm. and uh, go on about your way it, when you travel through Dublin. Yeah. So. You know, you, like for me, when you grow up, you, you, you hear stories and, and such as that. You know, I grew up, you know, in the 70s in school and, and you know, to the early 80s. and. And I would hear stories. My parents would talk about it. People in the community would talk about how 
He crossed all barriers. You're exactly uh, right. If people needed help, he helped them. That's right. Uh, I, I said before, and I, I can't wait to say it again to you, that he extended the right hand of Christian fellowship. That's <laughs> yes, true. Yes, That's right. Yeah. I understand from what I heard about the history, you know, you had travelers who had a chance to stay with him whenever they came through Dublin. You had people who needed lumber mm -hmm. and who needed, you know, stuff to build things. He had that. He had a dry goods store. He had the funeral home for, you know, taking care of a loved one who you needed to bury. Um, a gas station. I mean, I, from what I hear, he just tried to hit all markers, right. you know, for the things that the black folks needed at mm -hmm. the time. Yeah. And, and not only that, he was, he was a complete communal, you know, citizen. You know, so he did everything for uh, the uplift of the city of Dublin. And right. so he calmed, you know, racial unrest and he provided services um, for anyone that was in need, whether it was, you know, home, you know, affordable housing or education for families. Yeah. Uh, anyone that was needy uh, was the people that he would reach out to. Yeah. Right. And one further, when he was working on anything, he would go to then also white businessmen who respected him and, and welcomed him in the door because they knew uh, what his agenda was and it was a betterment of the entire community. That's right. And so the lesson I try to convey to my kids yeah. is to, you know, to, to encourage them to be a bridge builder like he was. Yeah. Right. I also understand that he was the first to have some type of legal position in Dublin as, a, as an African American. Yeah. Right. He that was, was huge. He was a, a notary. Notary. Which was sort of controversial for that period to be a notary public. Yeah. yeah. Okay. But, come on, uh, let's come on a little further. <laughs> yeah. hey, we'll take a short break and be right back. You stay with us. David sells cars well at Dublin Nissan. Scott sells cars well at Dublin Nissan. Dylan sells cars well at Dublin Nissan. We do cars well every day at Dublin Nissan. You've dreamed about the perfect house, a place to call your own, and a place to not only stretch out, but to grow. Auto Owners protects your house because to you, it's home. That's simple human sense. Ask Curry Maffet Insurance in Dublin if auto owners make sense for you. Happy to help, man. I was just over there talking to myself anyway. All right, we welcome you back. Uh, Shanita, you, you're going to be performing at the concert coming up, the uh, uh, Hub Dudley uh, Duplex Restoration Concert. It's going to be taking place a little bit later this month at Theater yeah. Dublin. But you're going to be singing a few songs. I'll be singing a few songs with the, uh, there's a choir, the Sun Program. And, and the Vision of Praise. The Vision of Praise Choir. And also with our famous Early Clover. Mm -hmm. I'll be doing some songs with his band. Yeah. He and his band. Yeah. yeah. It's been a long time for me because uh, in 2013, I brought my band here from South Florida. Um, but when it comes to me coming back home to do anything on a regular, I'm not here usually. But I've been here now for about a year. Uh, I had to come and nurse my dad back to some form of health, but he transitioned. And uh, the restaurant is so busy mm -hmm. that I said, I cannot go back to South Florida. I'm gonna have to stay here for now, so I'm here. Good. I'm glad you are. I'm here yes. to get plugged really. into what the music industry and the, you know, the entertainment industry has to offer here in Dublin. Bring it on. I yeah. will. You can I take will. us to the next level, Jimmy. Okay, yeah. Yeah. that's you the plan. Have, yeah. I plan yeah. to take you to the next that. level. Chris, you, you said uh, earlier, you know, you had, you had gone to the MLK breakfast. Mm -hmm. and Saw her perform. Her stage presence was so magnificent. I said, wow, I've never, that was the first time I've ever seen her perform. And fell in love with her, you know, right then. Cool. Uh, when we got this idea to do this concert, of course, it's a history lesson. Come to find out, Shanita is a, his, a music history, you know, yes. um, guru. <laughs> so this concert is going to be a historical, you know, um, event to where we uh, talk about the contribution of inspirational music in American culture from 1619 right up into current day. So it's going to be a history lesson, but. We've put together a great, you know, list of songs of inspirational music. And inspirational music. This is going to be that song that makes you feel good. And so, hopefully, we're going to play a lot of your favorite songs. Yeah. You know, I'm looking forward to it. Yeah. Her. So this is going to be a, an awesome historical musical lesson and very, very entertaining with some marvelous, you know, guests, uh, performers. Yeah. 
Yeah, I, I'm in awe of the talent here in, in Dublin that's come out of Dublin in Lawrence County with you with Early Clover, Anita. Yeah. But Early tells the story that uh, he and his uh, early band used to practice at Miller's. Oh, yes. And you used to hang around, run around. I did. My bands. brother and I would just go crazy because, you know, those musicians would just strike up with the amps yeah. and we would, be, we would be in awe. It was like, wow, these instruments really play. You know, <laughs> they can really play stuff. And, and little did we know, my dad knew, and Early said my dad knew, that we were going to be musicians. My brother and I are both professional musicians. Awesome, awesome. Yeah, little did we know. But they practice at my house. They practice at Miller's Country Club. And um, I got a chance to go with them to Atlanta to make their first record. I remember that as a kid, but I was there. I was in Atlanta when they made, I think it was Atlanta or Macon, where they made their first record, Think It Over. Think It Over. Yeah. Now, my mom would go in, she would say, go put on my song. <laughs> <laughs> and that was it. Think it was 45, yes. yeah, Think It Over. Oh, my. Right. Yeah. And, and uh, early says you started out with what instrument? Piano? I started out with piano at age four. Yeah. There was no voice teacher in Dublin, age four, because I could talk and my mom would hear me sing around the house. So she said to my dad, I think I'm going to find her a voice teacher. But there was no one who could, you know, give her, I guess, the satisfaction of teaching me voice lessons. So we found piano first. So piano was my first instrument. Eventually I started to get into the chorus, like I said, at school and um, took it seriously by eighth grade. By eighth grade, I knew I wanted to be a singer. So left Dublin and studied classical voice at University of Miami School of Music. And from there, I was totally prepared for this entire industry of singing, songwriting, awesome. production, engineering. Beautiful. You know, music if, law. If you're dedicated and know what you're going to do in the eighth grade, you, you yes, don't do it. Yes, I, I knew. Anyone who's ever told me, they know it. And I, I knew in the eighth I grade. Knew. I knew. Uh, I had to let everything yeah. else go. I, I knew I wanted to be a great singer. That's great. So. And you are. Well, thank you. We're really yeah. looking forward to, yeah. to the event. Uh, let's talk about how to get tickets. Um, tickets are on sale at the Dublin Theater. You can go to the Olive Branch. Um, you can call me. Uh, you can call Miss Anita Hill. Um, Miller Soul Food. Right. Miller Soul Food. We have them so reach out to us. We can get you tickets. And you know, for, you know, I've talked to a lot of people. I've uh, attended a lot of events. You know, promoting uh, the event. You know, the tickets are forty dollars. But I need people to understand that you know, not only you're going to get great entertainment. You know, for this forty dollars, but it's also a donation towards something that's going to have long-term impact in the uplift of this community. You know, this. You know, uh, the restoration of this uh, facility, you know, have great, you know, um, tourism, you know, potential. Uh, we have beautiful history in Dublin, uh, and so we want to share that. So the community buy-in, you know, and yes. our partners in the community needs to invest in this long-term uplift of the community. So pay the $40, and if, you, if you're not going to be there, make a donation anyway because uh, I'll be taking some young people to share this history with them, you know, uh, it, it's important that we do so. Sure it is. You can do your part for only $40, at least do that with your local business, uh, church organization, civic organization, or just someone who has a, a kind heart and wants to do the right thing. You can make a donation of even greater amount. I'll also add, we're going to do a souvenir album. So we're going to record some of the rehearsal you know, photos and yeah. things, um, the artists preparing for this event, then we're going to do like a red carpet thing where some of our um, platinum sponsors will get a chance to, you know, to meet <clears throat> and sit down with Early and Shanita and all the performers and autographs and take photos. We're going to capture all of that into an album, including the performance on stage in the audience. Uh, we want everyone that purchased ads to either, you know, uh, express your appreciation of the Hub Dudley legacy or tell your own story of your businesses you know and what you've contributed to Dublin all that's going to go in that album it's a keepsake for uh, you know a memento from Dublin great great okay. 
Take another short break. We'll be right back. Stay with us. Spring is here and it's a perfect time to buy or sell your home or property and great deals are popping up all over. So call agents Brian Howell, Charlene Lamp, Adam White, David Deves, Jennifer Bradley, Mark Bateman, Jay Brantley, Jim Jarrett, Raina Dubberly, Yvonne Robertson, or broker George Durden today and get the help you need when it comes to buying or selling your home or property. Log on to C21Dublin.com. Call us at 272-1535 or stop by 1700 Veterans Boulevard in Dublin. Deal with the number one realty company in Dublin and Lawrence County. Century 21, Durden Cornegay. Broker George Durden. Hi, I'm uh, Dr. Dustin Gay. I'm a local orthopedic surgeon with Houston Clinic Orthopedics, and we'd really like to invite everybody to come out to our new uh, office facility to take a look at it. It's a larger space with physical therapy, and uh, we're just excited to have it, and we'd love for people to come out and visit us. Come by and see us today at our brand new location, the Houston Clinic Medical Drive in Dublin. Welcome you back. Uh, when we look at the opportunity to make a difference in a community like this, uh, it takes so much preparation, so much planning for this. Uh, are there still steps that you need to see come to life? Is there some way that the community, other than purchasing the tickets? Purchasing tickets, I, I would love to hear from some of the other historical you know, um, facilities uh, in the city of Dublin to include their story there too. Um, we want you know, all of these historical sites, because going forward, um, you know, with the, you know, being aware of the great potential that the city of Dublin have in our, you know, economic development and things, our great, you know, economic potential, uh, we want to contribute to that. And so, um, you know, tell your stories, you know, uh, with respect to businesses, uh, support this initiative, and, and down the road, you know, it's going to have a significant impact, you know, for all of us. So we just, we're just trying to do our part. And this is getting the community's buy-in and, you know, what's going to be good for the city. Yeah. 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 And so uh, people ask the question, well, what's Dublin known for? What, mm -hmm. what, 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 do you, what can you tell me about Dublin? You know, many times we tell the story of St. Patrick's. We tell right. the story of Martin Luther King giving us first speech here. Mm -hmm. uh, it's tremendous. Uh, recently, just a few years back, uh, my son brought some uh, foreign students and, and people from the state of Georgia to the St. Patrick's events. Mm -hmm. They really enjoyed the community events and participated in pretty much everything. But one of the stops they made when downtown and, and enjoying all the things downtown on Super Saturday and the weekend was to walk over and enjoy the monument mm -hmm. oh, and recognize okay. that because mm -hmm. Who else can say that but Dublin? That's right. right. So it was right. noted to them, you know, one from, from uh, France, one from Germany, several from, you know, Metro Atlanta and, and throughout the state. But uh, that's one thing we're known for. But to be able to tell a story of a man who really uh, followed the example of Martin Luther King, right. followed the example of Christ mm -hmm. right, in right. doing the right thing and being that example for others. We need to build that back up. When you think I, I think that, that and, and that's something that I'm teaching our, our young people you know, coming up, that legacy that he, you know, was a, a communal, you know, uh, person, um, for them to have that same spirit and, and attitude and character. Um, and um, as they develop their gifts, that they bring their gifts back to the city of Dublin yeah. and, and contribute in a positive way. And, and truly, if I may say, um, when I was coming up, and I think you all uh, same, I, I would surely say, in, in that area of time, you know, we had much diversity in our lives. Yeah. And now it seems like there may not be quite as much diversity in some, some areas. Mm -hmm. So you have to see the importance of diversity. If you look around the room and everybody's just like you, yes. mm -hmm. what's up? Yeah. <laughs> right. I, I have to, I'll have to speak on that. My great grandfather set the pace for my family. Um, he had a motel and a store and a gas station out in the countryside. My grandmother started Miller's Soul Food, but I was around all of that, and she started the country club, she and my grandfather. I was around all of that, and we ran into everybody. The mayor came in. The people who were running for county commissioner came in. The people who sold insurance came in. The people who were nurses who worked at the hospital. Uh, the people who were downtown uh, in suits in the banks came in. 
Um, everybody, even the person who, who uh, restocked the Coca-Cola machine, he came through. The, the rack jobber who took the old records off the jukeboxes and put the new ones on, he came through. We got a chance <laughs> to see so much diversity. Yeah. And when you say that, I realize we took it for granted. Yeah. You know, we just didn't have an idea. Even in that restaurant, I could sit there and do my homework and someone would come in and say, what are you working on? I'd say, I'm working on my math. And they'll say, well, what are you working on? Oh, multiplication. They'll say, well, what's four times six? And they'd start telling me, <laughs> you know, you. teaching me, good, good, telling good. me, you know, all, all, yeah. I mean, just people were around us all the time. Yeah. And I really miss that. Yeah. I don't know if, if the younger generation will ever get that because we don't have that close knit uh, community like we used to have. We're all spread out now. Yeah. That's what I would say. Yeah. But I, I did have it. Yeah. And so the seed that we're trying to plant with respect to that is it seems to have like a generational gap. Um, kids that says, well, this is a new times. We don't live in those, that period anymore. Uh, but I say to them, well, you're right. You know, we're going to have to get acclimated to artificial intelligence. But there's some things from the past, traditionally, that has to come forward. Yeah, so there has to true. be a merger of, yeah. you know, current day technology and ideology and the traditional things that keeps communities you know, uh, tight and thriving, you That's know. True. Yeah, yeah, and, and this is a community. Mm -hmm. this, this, this is not community. That's true. Right, you know, right. We're community. Right. And, right. and when you get out, you get off that. Uh, that may direct you of events going on, and you, mm -hmm. you, you go, but, but that's not community. That's Technology right. is not. you got to get out. you got to, you know, you got to press the flesh. you got to get to know people. And, and when you do, when you see that diversity, it builds you up, it builds them up, it makes yes. the community stronger. Mm -hmm. So that's what we're looking for on this event, ladies and gentlemen, for everybody to turn out, for, for the uh, theater to be full well, of, please of do. a diverse yes. Yes. audience who's there to celebrate a good example. That's right, that's exactly. One thing we still have here, we have a community of church, we have a community of um, sports. You know, people still go out to the ball games here, yeah. and they still go to church together. So that's a good thing. You don't see that in every city. Right. You don't. Yeah. You don't. I, I was at the graduations, um, East Lawrence and East Lawrence and Dublin. You know, and a, a great community there too. Mm -hmm. Everyone yes. showed up for these people, yeah. young yeah. people, you know, in their next walk in life. It was great. Yeah. Really looking forward. Thank you for what you're doing, Chris. Yes, sir. You keep up. Five. Thank you for your continued support over the years, sir. Yes, she needs to look thank you. Looking forward to seeing you perform. I know you do an excellent job. It would be worth coming to see you just for me. <laughs> thank yeah. you so much, Ron. Thank Ma. you for joining us. Yes, sir.